Okay, so I'm back at the spotlight of the reviewing station to bring you the next Avengers Infinity War Marvel Legend action figure. And here is where we start to get to the good side of things. Here is Captain America. So before we take a look at the action figures, let's take a look at the packaging as per take of every single video review on this channel. And why am I doing this? I have no idea. Stop it, stop it, stop it. I'm going to make somebody dizzy. But anyway, we're going to start from the top because you demanded it. So here we go. Build a figure Thanos, Avengers logo, Legend series. Up here we got the Ages 4 and Plus, Warning Choking Hazard. There you go, I didn't miss it. Open window packaging, which would contain the figure and the accessories, which I have taken the liberty of making sure I pulled every single thing out this time around. Huh. Marvel's Avengers Infinity War logo, Captain America, Hasbro's logo on to the side here. Captain America on the side here. Captain America on to the back. Captain America. Here's a brief summary of Captain America. From the streets of Brooklyn to the intergalactic stage, Steve Rogers defends justice as Captain America. Right. So, here is the figures that consists of this way. With the Marvel Cinematic figures, we'll be taking a look at first. Comic book figures we'll talk about after I see the film. So, here's the look at Thanos, the build a figure of this line, with all the numbers indicating which part this C figures here happen to come with right that's it for the packaging we got that all said and done real quickly so here's the action figure lower the camera so you can see him hopefully my lights are working pretty good from back so you can actually see the figure because i know that's one thing that everyone's been complaining about lately with my reviews is that they can't see the figures for some reason i'm working on it okay i'm trying to get things a little settled here hopefully it will prove positive you just got to tell me, though, because I can't make that decision for myself, all right? I need some honesty here. Is this working out for you or not? Comment down below. Right. So, here's Captain America. And it is a simple retooled action figure of the Captain America figure we got from the Civil War line. Only with a different head sculpt here, which does look like actor Chris Evans. Which is very Same nice action figure from Civil War, just retooled a little bit with a very nice looking paint job here. It's very crisp and clean, as this whole wave is so far, so there's some positive. Uh, his belt is a separate piece. It is very loose. It moves around way too much on this figure when I go about messing with him. So I might have to glue that down just in the back to keep it in place. But regardless, though, it doesn't hurt the figure one bit. I still think that this is pretty positive. However, there is a little bit of a negative with my figure, and your results will be different. And it comes in the fact that this joint here is way too loose. As you can see, it doesn't take much force at all. This thing is free moving. It does actually click, as you can see. Um, it does hold pretty well when you're displaying the figure, but if you go about messing with him, um, it does droop quite a bit. Make me a liar now! It's actually tightened up just a little bit, but you can see it's, it's still pretty dang loose for what it should be. This one, on the other hand, as you can see, I'm just going about thumping it like I did with the right arm, and it just, it's staying in position just fine. This one here, yeah, a couple clicks being pushed back right. So anyway, let's go through the articulation on this guy. He does have a ball joint ahead. He also has a hinge joint, so I'm, I'm down. Blah. Wow, my tongue just said, screw me. All right, let's try that again. We got a ball joint ahead. We got a hinge joint for up and down movement at the neck. There we go. We've also got that universal shoulder joint with the pin disc to allow inward and outward movement about that high up. We also have the swivel joint to allow a full 360 of rotation. We have a bicep swivel joint. We got double jointed elbows. We got swivel joint at the wrist, which also does have a pin disc to allow some hinging inward and outward there. We've also got an ab crunch on a very nice clicky joint oh now I broke it it's not clicking anymore how sad still pretty tight though we do have the uh, waist swivel joint here and below all that we've got a ball joints at the legs with this much kicking forward not any kicking at all back uh, this is about as far as we go with the splits here so still no JCVD posing in this wave so far I do have five swivel joint, pretty tight on my figure. The results could be different. We do have double jointed knees. There's a swivel cut above his boot section, as you can see. Works pretty good. It's very tight. No complaints there. And then we got the hinge joint for up and down movement at the feet, which is a very tight joint. Very tight. 
kind of scary to move this, but I got to do it. There we go. Ah, that clicks too. Wow. That's quite a bit. And we do also have the ankle rocker pivot, which works on this figure pretty good. So, really, when it comes down to it, the articulation on this guy is really good. As it should be. I mean, why wouldn't it be? Uh, he does also have some accessories that I did mention. So, he does have some interchangeable hands that are in ball fist posing here. If you want to sucker punch uh, Thanos in the jaw, I wouldn't. But if you want to, it's an option. Um, to interchange these out is simple enough. You just pop one out and you put the other in its place. The only problem is with this hand here, you still got part of his glove there that is not a separate piece. This actually is molded to his left forearm. And, you know, it is what it is. I'd be complaining if this was a Hot Toys figure, but since it's not, there's no reason to complain. So, you know, what you gonna do, right? I mean, basically, I just put his gloved hand back on because we have another accessory that we gotta go through. And that is the man's shield. So here it is. As you can see, it's not his standard red, white, and blue with the star in the middle shield as you would have come to expect. But uh, it's uh, a very nice looking Wakandan shield, which is made of the same vibranium as his normal shield. Regardless, he doesn't have that shield anymore, people. All right. So anyway, what you can do is... Get his fingers split out just a little bit so you can get enough clearance to get that in there. And he looks pretty good with it for what it is. You know, there's not much else to really say about it. I do like the spikes on the end here. So it gives it a little bit of some impact force there. I mean, that, that's definitely going to punch your somebody. Thanos, I don't think so, but maybe one of his soldiers. Pretty nice. So, you know... Some people complain that the shield is actually too small for the figure. I say the opposite. I think it looks pretty good in scale with this guy. It works just fine with me. So here is Iron Man from the previous review. And here's Iron Spider to start off the very first review of this wave on this channel. And then we're going to bring the Out of the Norms in because that's how I roll. So here's Broodwing and Scorpion this time around. So there you have it, guys. There's your size comparisons for this review. Can I recommend Captain America? Yeah, I can. This is one of the better figures, if not the best figure, to come out of this line. However, I've still got another figure to go. And we'll see whether or not he can hold up that title. But in the meantime, he's got it down right. So questions or comments, you know what to do. Hit it down below in the comment section of the video. If you like today's video review, hit that thumbs up button. And don't forget to give me a sub up. If you didn't like it, hit the thumbs down and throw in the towel. Until then, this is the Unprofessional Toy Reviewer Res Power signing off saying thank you very much for watching this. And I'll see you whenever you see me.